I don't want to make this video super long, but I do want to tell you a little bit of my personal story, what happened with me with going from a residential Toro to the Skag Cheetah. It's something that I overlooked. And this is how long or how not long it was going to take to do the lawns that I was previously doing the years before. Now, for example, I was paying five days worth of labor uh, with the Toro. We had a five day full mowing schedule. Well, what I overlooked is when I went and bought the Skag Cheetah, 36 horsepower engine, I'm gonna cut my times in half, literally, if not more than half. So, having, I think it could be a little bit of the issues what I had with the employees not sticking around, is I couldn't give them that full 40 hours last week, or last year I tried, but it just didn't work out. But this mower took my five day mowing schedule down to three and a half days, and when we got into a pretty decent drought up here, it even took me down to three days and two and a half days. So just understand that with a new mower, it's going to speed your times up. And I mean, your employees have to be able to uh, adjust to that. You know, they have to be faster themselves with the trimming because all around you're going to get a lot faster with a new machine, a bigger deck, bigger engine, etc. But just understand that, you know, making this big old purchase is well worth it. And I'll tell you a little bit even more. When I broke my taxes down the other day, I noticed that over the season last year, by not working five days a week, getting the guys 40 hours, that they were averaging right around 27 to 30 hours a week. So I was saving on the top 10 to 12 hours, 13 hours a week on labor, which adds up over time. And I come to find that I saved over $4,000 just last year from the previous year on just purchasing this mower. So that $4,000 easily comes off the top of what I paid for this mower when I originally purchased it. So, the you know, over two years, you're talking 8,000, three years, 12,000. This machine, just going from a residential to a new machine, is literally gonna pay for itself just in saving me cost and employee time. So that's it for me, guys, you know. I can't say enough about the Skag Cheetah, fellas. I truly love this machine. Uh, you know, it, it, it has sped my business up substantially. I know if any of you guys have large uh, commercial equipment, whether it's Skag or another company, I know you know what I'm talking about going from a small, a small mower, residential mower, into, you know, a large piece of equipment. And, you know, that's kind of one of the things that set me apart, I think, a little bit with my YouTube is you guys have seen me over, you know, the last two to three years go from a guy with a Craftman, you know, 42 inch homeowner's model to the Toro Time Cutter, which was, you know, another home model residential to now, you know, last year I was successful enough and blessed enough that, you know, I could go out and I could make this purchase and, you know, be 100% comfortable with it. And, uh, yeah, that's that, guys. This journey, fellas, through lawn care is, it's kind of like a race. But, you know, the rabbit and the turtle when they're racing, you know, the rabbit gets out ahead really fast. But the turtle that's slow and steady and persistent, he's going to catch up. And when that, when that rabbit's out of gas, that turtle's going to go right on by him. So just be steady, guys. Keep at it. Don't give up. I mean, I get emails all the time from guys, you know, they're, they're, they're down and out. Uh, you know, it's just not working, Sean. I'm not getting the business I should have. I say stay persistent. You know, if you have to find another job, be willing to get another job, you know, and do your lawn care on the side. Because three, four years, you know, you may get to the point where now you can walk away from your job and you're going to be sitting there thank thanking yourself that you stuck to it. So that's it for me today, fellas. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. That's all I can do. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, fellas. Later.